Hi hot moms, welcome to the stay at home milk podcast. This podcast is for moms and I mean like anybody who is really like into lifestyle and glam and also into impractical outfits while also wearing like sweatshirts and leggings. Um, this first one I just wanted to challenge myself and be in front of the camera so that I could also like this is a podcast but also you can watch it on YouTube and I just wanted to challenge myself um and not feel like I have to look perfectly put together because some days I am some days I'm not as I'm sure anyone else is but it was just I was just like okay you need to wash your hair tonight like it's a hair wash day I've only got skincare on got my under eye patches on and um I'm sick with like a cold or allergies or something so this isn't the professional podcast this is um just for fun in real life I'm in the iconic pink the bar sweatshirt with literally I got clementine juice all over myself earlier and like chocolate and coffee stains all right well, not stains but I'm already a mess so <sighs> um I've got my ice roller while I'm sitting here reading off notes. So this, so I just wanted to make kind of like an introductory episode one, um, because I am the type of mom that loves getting glam and all dolled up and um, like I'm really into beauty and health and wellness. And um, also some days I just want to do absolutely nothing and just veg out. So I just wanted to touch on the importance of doing both if that's what you want so if you are someone that you enjoy getting like dolled up and glam even if you're just wearing like leggings and a sweatshirt then that is important also it's great if you want to get like wear like an impractical outfit like you're going to the park or you're going to a story time and you're wanting to wear like a dress or like a feather shirt um then very relatable because same um you will you will find me um in either of those two categories depending on the day if you I just think it's so stupid to feel pressure to do to like be one way or the other like oh my gosh why are you doing your hair and your makeup if you're like not leaving the house which some days you don't want to like I get that but some days like it just makes you feel better and more put together some days you just want to focus on skincare. Some days, like, you might just be someone who does not care about makeup or cute, like, dolled up outfits at all. And that's okay, too. I am a self-proclaimed trophy wife. It's funny because it's just, like, this, like, 1% little romanticized version of myself that I've always, like, dreamed of. And, like, when people would ask me growing up, you know, I would you know, proudly be like, yes, I want a trophy. I want to be a trophy wife. And it's, I'm, I'm not like an actual, I mean, I am a trophy wife, but I'm not a trophy wife. I just, it's just a title I've given myself. Um, no, I've worked for up until I gave birth, like 10 months ago. I, um, and me and my husband joke all the time that like, I'm in it for the long con. We've been together since high school, you guys. Like, I was very intentional and clever that I wasn't just going to marry just for love. Like, I wanted to marry someone who was going to be successful and stable, but, like, and, like, be able to financially support me. This is so funny. I grew up in, like, a very religious community where you got married young, you had babies, you stayed home, like, the wife stayed home and everything. And while that's what I always thought I wanted to do because, ew, working, I actually, um want to open my own business um once she's like in school and then obviously um I have it would be my life's dream to be an influencer and get paid for that so anyways growing up I always thought you know okay I've got to get married because of the, like my religious background and so I'd always date like older guys because then I could get married faster and they made more money this is like the psychotic life I was in anyways um and then when I turned 18 and was like actually allowed to date, um, me and Carter got together. We've known each other since middle school. Long story short, we um, dated for like seven years, got engaged. We've been married for th three, 
yeah, we've been married for three. We got married in 2020. Um, and then we decided to have a baby. I thought I wanted to be 30 by the time I had a baby. And I actually just decided to have her when I had her. Um, we were really lucky and I got pregnant right when we wanted. We didn't have any issues. And um, now I get to stay at home with her. I totally recognize that um, I am in a privileged situation where I am privileged to stay home with my daughter. I know that not everyone that would like to do that gets to do that. I'm very lucky that my husband um, can support us financially with me working at home. Um, but yeah, the trophy wife thing, um, I have always been very confident and thought, I mean, I know that I am a very beautiful human being, um, inside and out, and I definitely am vain, and it's just something that I think women need to be more confident with is and like assertive over their own beauty and just like know that they're beautiful because it's crazy to it baffles me that like my my friends all these women like when I'm like oh my god you're so beautiful they're like thank you I really needed to hear that which I totally get we're all like that sometimes but I'm like you don't wake up every day thinking you're hot shit you need to wake up feeling like hot shit every day maybe not the best choice of words but you know what I mean Sorry, I'm going all over the place. This is going to be a really chaotic first episode, I think. But um, going back to my husband, he's actually younger than me by a year and a half. And he is incredibly brilliant. I married a nerd, um, which in its own right, I'll have to do a whole episode on why um, you should marry a nerd. <laughs> um, but he is, he, you know, he did the college thing. He's very, like, by the rules, like... He graduated high school, he had to go straight to college, did the college thing, and then he got a job. And um, I'm here more of like the free spirit, like, come on, let's go have fun. And, um, but he is super successful. He made, he's very humble too, but um, I like to brag on him. He made director of technology at his job um, at 25. And so, yeah, I just, I'm very proud of him for that. And that is part of the reason that he is able to support us financially. Um, but yeah, well, I always dreamt of being a cute little trophy wife. Um, my husband just always wanted to be like the husband. <laughs> he always wanted to be like a dad and the financial supporter. Like we're not like, tr we're not traditional in like all the ways of, you know, a husband and wife and like, like, like in all the ways, like a husband and wife. Like, we're not, like, completely traditional, like, husband-wife roles, um, but we're for sure a team, and while I always wanted to be, like, the cute little housewife that wears cute outfits and this and that, um, he just always wanted to have a cute little housewife and <laughs> be the husband and take care of things. So it just worked out very well for us that we found each other so young. So that is just a little bit about me and my family and stuff. Um, but I plan on doing much more um, organized podcast episodes for everyone. And I'm definitely going to, because I'm never getting pregnant again. Oh my God. Um, I'm definitely going to go backtrack and talk about things that like I did right before I was pregnant, while I was pregnant, labor, delivery, all of that. Things that I did that I would do differently and like products that I would um, love to share with you all. So anyways, bye hot moms. I totally recognize that um, I am in a privileged situation where I am privileged to stay home with my daughter. I know that 
not everyone that would like to do that gets to do that. I'm very lucky that my husband um, can support us financially with me working at home. But yeah, the trophy wife thing, um, I have always been very confident and thought, I mean, I know that I'm a very beautiful human being um, inside and out, and I definitely am vain, and it's just something that I think women need to be more confident with is and like assertive over their own beauty and just like know that they're beautiful because it's crazy to it baffles me that like my my friends all these women like when I'm like oh my god you're so beautiful they're like thank you I really needed to hear that which I totally get we're all like that sometimes but I'm like you don't wake up every day thinking you're hot shit you need to wake up feeling like hot shit every day maybe not the best choice of words but you know what I mean sorry I'm going all over the place this is going to be a really chaotic first episode, I think. But um, going back to my husband, he's actually younger than me by a year and a half. And he is incredibly brilliant. I married a nerd, um, which in its own right, I'll have to do a whole episode on why um, you should marry a nerd. <laughs> um, but he is, he you know, he did the college thing. He's very, like, by the rules, like... He graduated high school, he had to go straight to college, did the college thing, and then he got a job. And um, I'm here more of like the free spirit, like, come on, let's go have fun. And, um, but he is super successful. He made, he's very humble too, but um, I like to brag on him. He made director of technology at his job um, at 25. And so, yeah, I just, I'm very proud of him for that. And that is part of the reason that he is able to support us financially. Um, we're not like completely traditional, like husband wife roles, um, but we're for sure a team. And while I always wanted to be like the cute little housewife that wears cute outfits and this and that, um, he just always wanted to have a cute little housewife and <laughs> be the husband and take care of things. So that is just a little bit about me and my family and stuff. Um, but I plan on doing much more um, organized podcast episodes for everyone. And I'm definitely going to, because I'm never getting pregnant again. Oh my God. Um, I'm definitely going to go backtrack and talk about things that like I did right before I was pregnant, while I was pregnant, labor, delivery, all of that. Things that I did that I would do differently and like products that I would um, love to share with you all. So anyways, bye hot moms. <laughs>